a problem now my big problem is when you try to force your belief and your stupidity on other people especially children that's why i have a problem leave children alone leave the babies alone but these people are so desperate for believers and followers See, that's, that's a predator. That's a predator mindset. When lions and coyotes and hyenas, when they go after prey, the number one choice, the number one choices is babies, the sick and the elderly. That's the predator mentality. Right here in the United States, The number one, the number one people targeted for predation is, of course, women, children, and the elderly. Easy prey. They have religion and spiritual people have a predator mindset. You want to get the children because they can't think yet. They're little babies, and it's easy to brainwash a child because they don't know. A child depends on their elders to guide them in the right manner. And you taking them to hell in a basket with your damn lies. You tell them about Santa Claus. How many of you grew up believing Santa Claus and your feelings was hurt when you found out Santa Claus was not real. Raise your hand. I didn't care. I didn't trip off it because I was influenced by the teachings of Elijah Muhammad and they didn't, they don't teach that. But I know there's a lot of children who believe in Santa Claus and when they found out that Santa Claus was a lie, it hurt them because mommy and daddy not supposed to lie to me. Adults are not supposed to lie to the children. Back in the day, not too long ago, there was a dinosaur called Barney. Is it Barney? Barney the purple dinosaur. I think that's what it was called. You remember that? Barney the, the purple dinosaur. My nieces, my nieces and nephew love Barney. And we told them, well, you know, Barney, it, it, it's not real. Now we told them Barney was not real. They didn't want to believe me. But see, we told them the truth. We told them that Barney was a man in a suit that played a dinosaur on TV. Ah, Barney is real. Barney is real. Okay, but they cannot say that we told them a lie. Yeah, Barney and friends. You can go on, uh, you can get an app. You can go on, on cable and you can find Barney and Friends show. Barney, Barney the, the purple dinosaur. So what happened was Barney came to town live. And the children were so excited. Oh, we want to go see Barney. We want to go see Barney live. The purple dinosaur. So we took the children to see Barney. The purple diamond. They were so excited. Going to see Barney. Going to see Barney. What was that song? I forgot the little song that Barney used to sing. I got a friend in you. I got a friend. Some, 
something about a friend. I don't know. That was a one of Barney's uh, songs that he used to sing. So we took the children to see Barney, and I don't know exactly how it happened, but they found out that Barney was a man in a suit. Oh, yeah, you love me, I love you, something like that. <laughs> That's that Barney song. I love you, you love me, something. They found out that Barney was not real. It hurt them to their core. That hurt those children so, so, so bad. But we, as adults, we told them that Barney was not real. Barney was a fictional character. It was a man in a suit. I, I can remember that day when they found out that Barney was not real. That, that really hurt those children. So here you are. How do you think these adults feel? This is the reason why I cannot get angry. I cannot get upset. I'm disappointed and I'm frustrated with adults. But they believe in Jesus and our law and the creator, the most high. Yashara, Yashewe, whatever. They believe in all these things the same way my grand relatives believe in Barney the Dinosaur. Here we are on the Realities Temple telling them that Barney is not real. Santa Claus is not real. They don't want to hear that. But whether they like it or not, sooner or later, the truth, the real truth is going to be revealed. And they cannot say that the realities tip on earth ministry, Twin Pyramid, the Deacon, z Man, all of us here, Mellow Cap, they cannot say that we did not tell you that all those things is not real. I'm confident. I'm waiting on the spiritual event to prove us lie. I'm waiting on it. I know my deacons is watching the internet. I know people, you're watching the internet, you're watching the news. At 3.30, a great spiritual event is supposed to happen to the point where the person told us, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just repent and everything will be all right. That sort of sounds like a threat too. That sounds like a, th a veiled threat. If we don't repent, I guess this, this being or this God or whatever going to kill all of us. So be it. I'll be the first in line because I'm not going to bow down to your punk ass. It's not going to happen. You don't impress me, you spiritual bastard. Oh, <laughs> can I do that on a Sunday? <laughs> you should be shamed to force your beliefs on children. That's when I have a problem. If it's good for you, that's cool. Leave the children alone. They told me these lies because I was a child. That's why you got me. Because I was a child. Because ain't nothing coming with me as an adult. Your days is over. It's reality or nothing at all. Sick of your lies. There ain't no damn God. Ain't no most high, no creator. And I'm telling you right now, ain't no spiritual event gonna happen.
I'm very confident in that. Nothing going to happen. But I can say we could be wrong. So we're going to wait. In a half an hour, Central Time, it's already 3.30, past 3.30, Eastern Time. In another half an hour, it's going to be 3.30, Central Time. Or maybe 3.30, Pacific Time. The person did not say. So let us just say today, before midnight, today before midnight, a spiritual event is going to happen. I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen while we're alive because I'm confident to declare it's a damn lie. These spiritual religious folks, y'all bastards, you're nothing but a bunch of liars. You target children for your bull doo-doo, you're a bunch of parasites. And those people who sell this to the masses they they're not they're not waiting on a spiritual event. They live in. They driving Mercedes Benzes, and Escalades. Living the high life, in this life. They living rich, and you waiting on an alien, a spook to come out the sky to do something. And the people that's selling you this, they live in high on the hall. In this life, not in the spiritual realm. In this life. Taking your money. Now my family, my mother and father, my grandfather, the adults that was around me, they, look, they believed in a God. They believed in the creator. But my mother, my grandmother, the adults that was around me, they never forced their religion on us children. They allowed us to be children. Thank you. 